Alhamdulillah, Hirabil Alameen, was Sallallahu wa Sallam ala Nabiya and Muhammad, wa ala Ali wa Sahbihi wa Sallam, Amma Bad. Ahabitifillah. This is the last hadith in this chapter, the chapter, the book of praise and gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, the Bab Wujub wa Shukr, or the chapter, the obligation of gratitude. And we spoke about in the first lessons about the uh, the importance of shukr, of thankfulness and gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we spoke about alhamd, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the difference between the two. And we also mentioned other attributes related to the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, who is perfect in his divine characteristics. And we mentioned fawa'id and benefits from the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah with regards to the difference between a shukr walhamd, a gratefulness in praise, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and some of the benefits contained therein. And so we reached the last hadith that Imam al we put in this, chap, uh, this chapter, this bab. And this is the hadith of Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So he said, عن أنس رضي الله تعالى عنه أنس بن مالك رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن الله لا يرضى عن العبد يأكل الأكلة فيحمده عليها ويشرب الشربة فيحمده عليها رواه مسلم. This is a hadith that is in Sahih Muslim. And it's a hadith of Anas bin Malik رضي الله تعالى عنه who reported that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said. Allah is pleased with his slave who says, Alhamdulillah, praise belongs to Allah. When he takes a morsel of food and drinks a cup of water. So in this hadith, it shows us the importance of praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of course during all times, but especially when eating, when eating and drinking. And... This is a part, the reason for this is that this attains the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is one of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's, uh, a, a divine characteristic that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased. Allah loves. These are Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's, uh, these are characteristics our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about himself and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions uh, in authentic ahadith. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with his servant when he mentions, when he praises Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before eating. Also this hadith, it shows that it is uh, mustahab, that it is recommended to begin, before you eat, be tasmiya. And that is saying bismillah. And... The it is also recommended Westahbab Khatama Dalika Bilhamdi Lillah Fahadahu Hadiya Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that it's also it's from the guidance of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to begin eating by saying Bismillah. And when a person is finished eating, that they say Alhamdulillah. And there are uh, a hadith which mentioned the exact dua, for example, uh, one of the supplications that the believer can say upon eating is Alhamdulillah ladhi at'amani hadha wa razaqnihi wa ghayri man ghayri halan minni wa laquwatan. So this is one of the supplications in which we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the food that he's given us. Alhamdulillah ladhi at'amani hadha. Uh, all praise belongs to the one who is who's given me this, who's fed me, وَرَزَقْنِي, and and sustained me and given me sustenance. Without any might or power, that I would have been able to do this. So that means it's giving all the praise, all the thanks to Allah, because He's the one who gave you the risk. Now you spent the money on your family and you provided food. You spent the money and took your friend out to the restaurant. You spent the money 
and you fed your children and you ate together. And it was from your earnings, the idnillah lawful earnings. However, all of that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of that is from Allah Azza wa Jal, the Lord of the heavens and earth. He's the one who gave you. He is a razaq. He is the sustainer. He's the one who blessed you to get the job that you have. He's the one who blessed you to earn the money that you were able to gain. He's the one who blessed you to be able to buy the food that you were able to buy, the healthy organic food that you were able to feed your children, the delicious water and juice and dates that you were able to break your fast with. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who provided all of those things. And this is the difference between the mu'min and the disbeliever. Because the disbeliever, the disbeliever, especially if they're disbelievers who don't have a, a really a millah, they don't really have a deen. For example, I'm talking about disbelievers that are like mushriks that don't believe in any concept of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or, or concept of God. Those people, so from the Christians, you'll find that they thank they thank Allah in their way uh, when they receive food. But they commit shirk is the problem. Many of them commit shirk. They say, in the name of Jesus, and then they eat. And likewise, the Yahud, the Jews, they also give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their own way. And likewise, I'm sure even the Hindus, they probably pray to a particular god or deity for the particular food that they're eating. But the one who doesn't even believe at all in Allah or any form of God, then they don't give any praise. They think it's all from themselves. They think that they're self-sufficient. They believe that they're self-sufficient. And they act as if they're self-sufficient. So they don't thank anyone. They don't praise anyone. They don't care for anyone. They believe it is because of their fame and their fortune and their status that they were able to eat the delicious food. And because they had their servants go buy all these various types of food and adorn their majlis, their sitting room, with it. That that was because of their grace and their bounties. But those bounties were only given to them by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And emma shakirin or emma kafura. They will either be thankful or they'll either be ungrateful. And that's why we study this chapter, because we are the people of, of, of gratefulness. This is what the believer, the characteristic of the mu'min, is that they're the people who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and are grateful and thankful to Allah and show their gratitude by obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by thanking Him and praising Him on their tongue often and in their actions and in all aspects of Iman and in their hearts. They feel this for their Lord subhanahu a last benefit of this hadith, a fa'idah that was mentioned, a tasmiyat mishru'a in the ibtidal akla wa shurub, hiya qawl al-abd bismillah. Amma ma sha'a bayna al-nas min al-qawli bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, fahada yusammihi al-ulama al-basmala, wa hiya mishru'a in the al-bada'i بقراءة سورة من القرآن فلا نختلط بين تسمية والبسملة والبسملة والموافق من لزم الهدي نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فأتى بورود بورد النبوة في سيغته الواردة ومحله المناسب قاصد التأسي التأسي فهذا هو مقام الاتباع مقام الاتباع سنة نبي اتباع سنة 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 رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. So this is a faida from the scholars. They mention that there's a difference between a tasmiya والبسملة. The tasmiya Habatifillah is what we are talking about here. The 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 tasmiya is when you say Bismillah. Bismillah in Arabic, they refer to this in the text as tasmiya. Bismillah. And this we do, of course, one of the places we make this tasmiya is when we're eating and drinking. And what has been spread 
in many of the cultures, and sometimes we fall into this ourselves, and may Allah forgive us and bless us to be on the guidance of the Prophet ﷺ, is, is saying the uh, basmala when we eat. And saying the basmala is when you say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. That is called the basmala. And the ulama say that this is legislated when beginning to read a surah from the Qur'an so that we should not mix between the two, between tasmiyah and basmala. Again, tasmiyah is saying bismillah. And al-basmala is saying bismillah rahman rahim So the one who does this correctly, this is the muwafaq, is the one who adheres to the guidance of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they mention those supplications which are mentioned in the authentic sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam in the way that the Prophet Wasallam mentioned them and in the place and the correct and appropriate place for mentioning them with an intention to do so. And this is the situation or the characteristic of the person who is blessed with the guidance of being upon the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and may Allah bless us with tawfiq and all that we do wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad